promote. Hello and welcome everybody. Let's talk about Eli Roth's newest horror slasher, Thanksgiving. It is going to be a very happy Thanksgiving. Overall, I really liked it. I feel like it's a very well put together film. The cinematography, the structuring, the crafting, and the very opening sequence seems like a master work of this type of genre. Until what happened that night. With a little bit of dark humor that reminds me of movies such as Krampus. But it's also very good at building anticipation, much like a Final Destination film. The first half of the movie has really good pacing. It doesn't take too long to get to the kills, which by the way, in my opinion, are quite fun and creative. The acting in the movie is fine enough. Everybody gets their roles across pretty well. From the jacks to cheerlead. Let's go, Fletcher! Oh my God, here we go. The music in this movie is pretty cool. I really like that eerie, dry, acoustic sound that comes up whenever the killer is on screen. But I also feel like it stumbles a bit on the final third. I may have a theory as to why that final third or final quarter, if you will, the film went the direction that it did, but we'll get there when we get there. It's fun to pay close attention to the little things that certain characters say because there's a lot of red herrings and there's also a lot of things that could clue you in one way or another. And like any Eli Roth film, as the film progresses, the violence gets much more gratuitous. You know, when we get to the dinner scene, the all famous dinner table scene from the trailer, things get messy. To all be together again. It's an Eli Roth film. This has franchise potential written all over it. Scream, coming at your heels. Now, remember when I said towards the end, I felt like the last quarter or the last stretch seemed to kind of stumble a little bit. Well, there's a key moment where the screen fades to black. It's as if the movie drops into a completely separate draft of the script. Characters teleport, and I'm getting tripped up trying to figure out what's going on, what happened in between, was there a deleted scene? I heard that this movie was in development since the time of the Grindhouse films, and originally this film was supposed to take on a much more stylized visual effect all the way throughout, like maybe more film grain, and a lot of the hokiness towards the end of the movie was supposed to play into that much more. I, for one, would love to see a sequel and maybe even a whole franchise grow out of this. And perhaps, who knows, maybe one of the sequels will actually adopt the old visual style and aesthetic and maybe they'll go all in with one of these movies on the cheesy factor. It depends on what liberties they're allowed. We'll see. Now I've been catching ads every here and there of the Thanksgiving movie now coming out for Blu-ray. Hopefully if you guys are looking to check that out and maybe even rent for the night, hopefully this review gives you a little of an idea of what to expect and maybe what you're in for. I've always been a huge fan of the Scream movies. Ever since Scream 1, it's been hard for many other movies to top that for me, especially with the killer reveals and that. To be honest, a lot of movies nowadays, especially the latest screams, as I mentioned before, they fall flat right at that area. I think that's about gonna do it for me, guys. You think this movie's gonna be a good runner-up against Scream? Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think and what you liked about the Thanksgiving slasher movie, and would you like to see a sequel? I like movies, I like to talk about movies, especially slashers, especially action, sci-fi, whatever, you name it. I'll see you guys next time. Yours truly, signing out.